you often talk about Chanakya's version of the world. How would Chanakya deal with Taliban and the kind of terrorism we see, we see today? Very good question. How would Chanakya deal with the Taliban? Okay. This is what Chanakya would ask himself. A. What is India's national interest? And where do India's biggest threats come from? Number two, what is the Taliban's national interest? And where does the Taliban see its biggest threat coming from? India's national interest is to reclaim the whole of Kashmir. India's biggest threats are Pakistan and China. The Taliban's national interest is to consolidate their hold over the country, to reclaim Pakistan-occupied Afghanistan, and their biggest threat and competitor is Pakistan. So Chanakya would say that I have this national interest and I have these threats. The Taliban has this national interest and they have these threats. Do we have any kind of convergence between these two? We both see Pakistan as our biggest threat. We both have territorial disputes with Pakistan. My enemy is Pakistan. The Taliban's enemy is Pakistan. Why can't we work together? My enemy's enemy is my friend. I don't care what Taliban's ideology is. I don't care that they want Sharia law. It has nothing to do with me. It is their internal matter. I, Their national interest does seem to have a, some convergence with my national interest. So why can't we work together? That is how Vishnu Gupta Chanakya would see the world. This sort of realistic approach has nothing to do with morality, with ethics. It is all about real politic. It's all about pursuing your national interest. It's all about destroying the common enemy. That is how Chanakya would deal with the Taliban. He would see them as an instrument that you should work with in destabilizing and fragmenting the common enemy, which is Pakistan. And that is why I do not see this. I, I know the Taliban takeover is a very bad thing for many Afghan people, especially those who were westernized and who did not want Sharia law. It is a bad thing for women who will now have extra impositions on them. But from a cold, hard geopolitical angle, it may actually be a good thing for India. So that's what India needs to work with.